Ivory Coast's PM Mohamed Kankulibali has died after falling ill at a ministerial meeting. The 61-year-old had been chosen as the ruling party's candidate for October's presidential election, after Alassane Ouattara said he would not seek a third term in office. Mr. Gankoulibaly had only just returned from France where he had received two months' heart treatment. President Ouattara said the country was in mourning. He said Mr. Gankoulibaly had become unwell during a weekly cabinet meeting and was taken to hospital where he later died. His death creates huge uncertainty over the election. Mr. Gankoulibaly had received a heart transplant in 2012 and had traveled to Paris on the 2nd of May for the insertion of a stent. He returned last Thursday saying, I am back to take my place by the side of the president, to continue the task of developing and building our country. Mr. Gankoulibaly was among the favorites to win the presidential election. An article in Le Monde on Monday quoted one foreign observer as saying, if Kankoulibaly were unfit, Watara would have no choice but to run as a candidate because there is no plan B. This matter has so far remained taboo because the president has clearly shown his willingness to leave and indicated who his choice was to succeed him. Mr. Watara's decision in March not to run stunned the country. Mr. Watara broke the normal mold for the region of trying to remain in power. But opposition politicians, and many Ivorians, say that the president has not done enough to bring the nation together, and heal the wounds of the bitter conflict that divided Ivory Coast and then brought him to power. Around 3,000 people are thought to have died in the war sparked by candidate Laurent Gbagbo's refusal to accept he had lost the 2010 elections to Mr. Ouattara, before troops loyal to the current president arrested Mr. Gbagbo in April 2011. The long-running political disputes between him, Mr. Ouattara and another former president, Henri Conan Bidi, have been disastrous for Ivory Coast.